true Michelle Coffee Talks video, uh, I just want to let you guys know that it is going to be spewed out. I have no like pre-planned list of how I want this video to go or anything like that. I mean, I obviously have some sort of ideas. So just know that it if it feels a little all over the place, that is because it is all over the place. It's just a lot of my ideas that are coming out by me talking. I have my coffee and you probably, oh my god, you can totally see. Uh, yeah, there's some chunks all over my coffee. I'm drinking it anyways because it's coconut milk and I know coconut milk like does not go bad for a long time and obviously it checks the expiration date. So for today's video, I'm talking to you about how to be single. And one, I love that movie. I really love that movie. I find it taught a lot and I think that if you are really like wondering how to be single or anything like that, go watch that movie. It made such a nice like inspirational basis for a lot of my life, especially when that movie came out was when I was going through my biggest struggle on learning how to be single and I just think that like you should go and watch it. This video is not sponsored by How To Be Single about. I know that if you do know me, you'll be like, what the hell? Why is Michelle making a How To Be Single video? She's never single. And that's exactly why I'm here to make this video. So I'm gonna start off with a little bit of a backstory. From the second I got my very first boyfriend back in like, I think I was 15 or 16 or anything, um, there has probably not been a period up until I left college that I wasn't with someone. Like every three months after a breakup, I would always jump into another person and just like any like lostness I felt from like the breakup, I would instantly fix by another boy giving me like fulfilling that for me. And so I would get over someone by getting under someone else and that whole expression. And the thing is, is that that worked for me. I never had to deal with the like lingering emotions. I never had to deal with like what was going on wrong with me because I would just like have it fill be fulfilled by another person and there's just such a flawed logic in the fact that I couldn't like go and figure out what was wrong because I would just go and like be with a boy instead. So it took me up until it actually took me dating someone who was like Michelle like I'm in a situation where I need to be single and I think you might be too that it really like woke me up and like made me think like you know what like I actually do need to like take this time to focus on myself and so after I left college I was able to do like a year where I was just like on my own and I put a lot of emphasis on on developing myself. I, I was able to like focus more on why I enjoyed being single and it did set up a nice foundation for why and now I even like enjoy being single kind of thing. So I want to give you the tips that I'm learning for myself on how I'm being single and how I'm finding it so that if you're going through a similar thing that maybe you can look and be like, right, I should be able to do that kind of thing. So one of the biggest things for me actually is something that um, you don't really see talked about a lot on like how to be single videos or anything like that. It's the fact that I like really, like really like being known as someone's girlfriend. I like going to parties and they're like, oh, they're so-and-so's girlfriend. Like I like the trope of the girlfriend. And it took me a long time to realize that like, that's just such a bad image to always, like it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing to like being a girlfriend kind of thing, but it's bad for that to be like my like, people know me as so and so's girlfriend, like people should know me as Michelle, like this cool girl all on her own kind of thing, um, and should know you as whatever your name is, the coolest person alive kind of thing. So I just find like a lot of myself now is realizing that like I can be that girl, I can show up to wherever I'm showing up to and be like, be just myself, be literally single, like be a single person and have people get to know me that way instead of them already having some preconceived notion on how maybe my boyfriend has talked about me or like how they feel about him, which they're gonna like drag into how they feel about me, which is like a very normal thing that happens a lot. Another big thing is not to get into a relationship, it just, if you're feeling lonely, there's been so many times where if I'm just simply feeling lonely that it's just the easiest thing to go and like download Tinder and talk to a boy or anything like that. It's just very easy for me to, and like a lot of people don't have this problem, but it's very easy for me to fall into a relationship. Like I will meet a guy and we instantly click and for me that, to just like go and put myself out there and to just fall into another relationship. It's just a pattern that is very bad for my life. And I'm not saying being in a relationship is a bad thing. I'm just saying go and be in that relationship whenever after you've taken that time to learn to love yourself and after you've taken that time to know who you are when you're single because one of the things I have to tell people so many like different times is you have your timeline and for maybe something like 75% of your life you are married you are with your person and that's gonna be fantastic 
but for that 25% when you're just that like kid and then adolescent kind of growing into like what they want, why not spend that single? You're already gonna spend the vast majority of your life in that happy like beautiful montage of you and your husband in that kitchen or, or wife. Uh, that why should that 25% be spent like being with someone else and that's like and in no way whatsoever am I saying that it's a bad thing to be in a relationship. I'm just saying personally I am not ready for a relationship. There is so much more I have learned just being by myself for this little bit and learning that I absolutely do love being my, by myself. So and that brings me into my next tip is love being by yourself. Love taking yourself out on dates. I know it kind of sounds weird, but if you learn to just go and go to the movies on your own and go do things on your own that maybe you would have normally went with a boyfriend, then you'll just learn to love that alone time more, more so. You'll get to learn yourself and understand things that you never would have thought you had in you. You'll really learn what you do like so that when you do get into a relationship, you don't compromise. That's another thing too. If you're getting into these constant relationships, and chances are you might be compromising. And like, that's another thing too, is if you go and get into a relationship after going to see all these cool movies on your own and then suddenly you want to see a movie that he doesn't want to see, well, chances are in like nine months after you've been dating for that long, he's still not going to want to see those movies and like, maybe it's a good thing that you've went to view them on your own because now you're cool going to the movies on your own or maybe that's a sign that you shouldn't be with a guy who doesn't like the same movies as you because hi then you're gonna get married to him and you guys will never want to watch the same movies so that just kind of sucks <laughs> uh, but i kind of got off on a tangent there another way to be single is to just put a lot more emphasis in you make that make this year make like your life about you like don't make it about another person put like for me, that's something that's actually helped a lot is like putting a lot more emphasis on the goals that I have. I actually have my little acronym. I've got five and it is F-Y-B-E and it ironically, like it looks cool written down. It is my, yeah, my fitness, my YouTube, my book, and my education. Those are the things that I'm putting my emphasis in on uh, and something that actually really helped me to learn how to be single is to put the emphasis in the goals that I'm working on, my five. Um, and then use a journal to kind of like get my way through planning into like how I can better myself and how I can be the person who I want to be. And a lot of that streams from like just putting effort into myself. Now I'm like a lot more focused on these dreams that I have, whereas I know like maybe being with someone would take up the time that I need to be focusing on these dreams that I have. Like I already feel like I can't balance so many different things, but now like adding a boyfriend on top of that, that's like all my relaxed time would be devoted to a boyfriend. Um, and of course this video could just be very centered around how I feel in my life, but I thought I'd share it with you because the way I see it is no matter what, if this video just helps one girl who's struggling through the same thing I am, that she's a serial dater like I am, that maybe this video is worth it. If there's someone who might be just as lost as me, maybe thinking about why am I in a relationship that I'm not 100% happy in, then maybe she'll look at this video and be like, right, I actually can just go and like establish myself on my own because the main theme of this video and the main theme of it all is to focus on yourself. You are the thing that will be in every different relationship. You are that constant in every single thing. It is always you. You like can move around wherever you want to go. You can date whoever you want to date, but the only person that's going to be that constant is you. You can't get rid of that. So why not take the time you need to focus on that instead? And it's just a topic that like, there's so many times where I talk to my friends and they're like, oh, like he's not listening to me. And like, I like this guy, but he's not giving me attention. Like, and I get that. Like we are naturally created to go like boys and want boys and want to like not be in a relationship and of course I struggle with it I struggle with it so much it's every day that I have to tell myself Michelle like you could talk to that boy all you want but like please don't get into another relationship chunky coffee time and of course relationships aren't awful and when you do feel ready then go and get into a beautiful relationship and know that when you do get into that relationship you will have a nice base of yourself so you don't find yourself like if he's like not texting you or anything like that like you won't instantly be like the jealous girlfriend archetype archetype whatever the word is um you'll just be able to be like oh okay well if he's like busy then i'm busy too like i have so many other things to do i have all these goals and passions and like what's the big deal if like he's busy then that's great you should be dating boys who are busy because that means that they are working for something or girls Gonna keep adding that in. I feel like there's more I need to tell you. 
So I'm just gonna drink my coffee until I figure it out. Well, I hope you guys didn't mind me rambling. This video, I feel like I'm gonna edit it and be like, oh my god, Michelle, like, why did you talk about that? Uh, I actually feel like, but you can't tell that I'm blushing because I'm wearing makeup, but I kind of feel like embarrassed about this video. Um, I've never really had like sort of a deep, deep in-depth in depth talk other than like my college video on like me and the like real me, but this is just something I struggle with so much that I feel like I needed to make this video. I needed to like have other people realize like, wait, maybe I'm going through this. Maybe I'm not taking the time to like find out who I am. Maybe I'm not taking the time to like be without a boyfriend. So I'm just rambling now. I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any other advice or anything like that, put in the comments. Of course, we are a community. Share anything. And if there's anything I forgot, I will write it or maybe make another video. Who knows? Bye, guys.